and welcome to Salina's Kitchen. I'm Zerlina and I'm back. Today for our second episode, I will show you how to make an aglio olio si in pasta and potato in salad. While I'm preparing our Zaragoza si name here, let's get you to the ingredients. We're going to prepare our pasta. So I have a pot here with about two and a half liters of water and I will put salt, which is I have here. Like salt, cooking salt, spicy salt. And I will light up first my stove. Just like that. And we'll let this boil. Now I will add our salt. So I have a measurement here, which is about one and a half tablespoon. add more it's up to you but for me that's enough and so uh it's so cooking fine sea salt is perfect for your pasta because your it won't make your pasta very soggy and it won't stick to each other just like that and we'll let that boil and we'll proceed to making our salad so here's the core ingredient the saragossa sleeper sling which i got here from this mess and i untied this by the way and put this in this beautiful glass bowl mask. and then i will just get another bowl for the dressing there you go another beautiful glass bowl by the way first is we need to make our dressing for our salad so i have here the wet ingredients first so one third of olive oil of our vinegar. And then, we have our squeezed lemon here, which is by the way skinless because we got it zest for our pasta, which is right here. I will just squeeze it. I need to squeeze it real hard. Make sure you have your own spinner, of course. And then, next is our mustard, which is we need about a half tablespoon of it. And then 
For our salt, again, I use the salt, cooking salt, and fine sea salt. I also need one or a half teaspoon here. Sorry. Struggling. I just need to use my spoon here because I'm struggling. Okay. Just like that. And then I'll mix this very well. And now we're done. We have our dressing for our salad. So let me set aside this uh, dressing first. And now I will check our pot right here. Oh yes! It's so going right now. We're going to add our pasta right here. With this pasta water. Which is, by the way, we use our exalt cooking sea salt. Which is locally produced. And it has high mineral content. And it adds flavor to our pasta. So be careful you put this right here and make sure you won't burn, burn yourself, okay? Just like that. And mix it a little bit. So mix it. There you go. We make sure to let this cook until it's al dente, okay? Some of you are not familiar with this sour because it's a cedar sling, so it naturally grows in our salt farm located in Bolivia from Gasiran. And it is also widely consumed and produced by the Greeks. If you know Chef Robbie Goho, the owner of the Sima restaurant, and also the one who introduced the Greek style restaurant here in the Philippines, he actually visited our salt farm located in Bolivia from Gasiran where he cooked a dish with this sour as a cedar sling. And also, we had degustation with him within this one of his restaurants. And with a video of that, I will link down the details down to the description box. Fun fact! The Saragossa Sleepers name is rich in fiber, low in calorie, and low in fat. It has its own natural taste. By the way, I'm prepping our Saragossa Sleepers name here with our washing cook. It can be eaten raw. I will show you. Mmm! very tasty. It has no all natural taste and it's not overly salty. You should try it. If you want to order one, I will link the Lavitas down to the description box. It's available in our company but to store it, you should not refrigerate it because it would turn into a black color. You can just leave it like that and you don't have to wash it. But it's your choice if you want to wash it. It won't affect the taste of our salad. So I'm just carefully cleaning it. Very handy. Very fresh. Now we can now add our potatoes. Just by the way, I boiled this. Pre cook this by the way, and I also added the salt cooking fine sea salt with this potato. And we can now add our papers. Make sure your papers are drained. Don't include the vinegar with it. Also add the onions, which I thinly sliced by the way. And our cherry tomatoes. And the parsley. And mix it all together.
our potato salad with sardon seepers. So this is our cooked pasta, which is by the way I separated this from the pasta water. But don't you forget not to drink the pasta water. Just like this one, I separated it because we're gonna use it for our pasta. Now I will heat our pan right here. By the way, I'm using a wooden spatula here which is a lot of food safety officers are not recommending to use this due to the contamination. But that's where the wash and cook comes in handy. I will just bring it before I will use it to disinfect it. Okay? There you go. We can now add our olive oil to our pan. There you have it, our Alio Olio Seeper Saint Pasta and Potato Persing Salad. Ta -da! I'm so excited to try this. Let me try it first with my fork. I will try first our pasta. Name matches the aloe olio pasta, which is very simple dish, but it created a different, um, what do you call that? A different taste or version. It's very tasty. And now let me try this mm, pasta. Ah, sorry, salad. Mm. Again, um, this seepers name really matches the salad with the potatoes. It's not overly salty. It has its own natural taste and it would be a perfect match for our happy chicken that I showed you during the first episode. That's it for our Sargon Super Sling Recipes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you want to suggest or you want to see for our next video, just comment down below with our thoughts. See you on the next one. Bye! Sargasa Seepers thing, you can actually pickle it at your home, or you can also order to our company, which I will put or link down the details down to the description box.